Mama, 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 Sheba's house. Mama, where we learn and have some fun. Mama, mama, Sheba was alone in blue. Mama, till God gave her a gift, it's true. Mama, one day the doorbell ring. Mama Sheba's house. Hey everyone, my name is Ishra. Welcome to Mama Sheba's house. Today's talk will be a talk about siblings. Siblings are a very finicky breed and you need to understand as a meta kid that you can have six brothers and sisters that live under the same house of the mommy and the daddy or the whatever guardian and all six of those children live different lives, think differently, experience differently, everything that their mother and father or guardian has showed them within their family circumstance. So don't question why my brother don't have the, the swagger that I have for basketball, why my sister don't look as cute as me, or why my sister is more affluent with her friends than I. Trust and believe you are experiencing your own spiritual, individual life. Do not want someone else's experience. Do not try to need someone else's circumstance. All you can do as a metaphysical kid is live life through your eyes and experience life the happiest and the most focused as you can be. You wanting to live Jessica's life is not gonna get you Jessica's life. How do you know that Jessica's life is just as good as yours. Maybe Jessica would want your life, but yet you're fiending for Jessica's life. Be careful when you start fiending for other people's lives. Focus on your own life and enjoy it. Trust me, I'm telling you, siblings themselves will never mentally think, do, or feel the same. It's crazy with my sisters because three of them i have two sisters and i'm the third i'm the middle of three and we all three care for house differently and i see the distinct difference and i i still fathom to this moment to this day as a life coach spiritual leader why doesn't my sister do this like I do why does my sister feel like that but I feel like this because it's called individual life you cannot be your sister your sister cannot be you life is about contrast and the beauty that people fail to see about contrast is that we're experienced different types of love different types of emotion different types of people different types of airs and that is the beauty of life experiencing different types of things but they have you living in this world where they have the parents scared to live and they give the same scared mentality to their children so then children in turn are scared to live life and living life is about reaching for your goals and you don't know what you want until you've been through something that you don't want you cannot learn to be a better person by not going through some bad things and the fucked up thing about parents is that they don't allow their children to go through the bad or it's the extreme the parents don't care, so the kids go through extremes and they don't have that nurturing guardian to teach them that you're going to go through this. This is going to happen. You have to stay positive. You have to stay focused. And the kids nowadays are growing very dysfunctional, very angry, very mad at the world, very disrespectful to adults, not respecting our ancestors. And I feel it just needs to stop. So as a metaphysical, as a metaphysical teacher, I need to let my metaphysical kids know, seriously, don't be making fun of the different kid because that different kid will fucking become the president and you'll be like damn I made fun of that kid instead of be instead of becoming a friend and making a friend with that different individual I was making fun of him I stayed away from him and I lost my opportunity to connect with that unique beings I'm telling you the weirdos the nerdos the crazies the non-friends they're the ones that's going to be taking over the world I'm trying to tell you <laughs> I'm trying to tell you the, the different kids, the quiet kids, the nerdy kids, the kids people don't like, the unpopular kids. These are the kids that's going to be running the world. Those are the friends you need to be making up with. Because let me tell you, the different kids, when they band together, woo! It ain't no joke when, 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 when the different kids come together. The punk rockers with 
the sci-fis, the nerdos, with the bougie bitches, the money, the money families, with 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 the abusive families. Like you, you'd be surprised. Do not stop from connecting with an individual soul. You don't know what that person can teach you because what they going through sure as hell is different and hurts to them more so than what you're going through. So never judge someone else's life, okay? And I feel like we cannot have that judging with siblings. Siblings, you cannot fight with your siblings. Stop fighting with your sibling, guys. That's your brother and your sister. They're different from you. They're not the same. If you know about metaphysical, then you know your family's going to lie to you. Your family's going to cheat on you. Your family's going to hurt you. Your family's going to fuck you up and do you wrong. And your family's going to teach you some bad habits that it's going to take years for you to get over and heal yourself from. But this is the function of family, you guys. To learn how to fuck with the do dirty people and still come out the next day smiling like, yeah, my life is good. Yeah, my life is good Despite the setbacks If you can't love your family Within your circumstance You're never gonna make it in this world Called the United States of America So know and believe Learn to love your different sibling That gets on your nerve Learn to love that sibling That you just don't understand And don't get Get to know that sibling That does mama wrong And gets her stressed out And makes the whole house angry all you can do is be the shining light that you are and try to keep the energy in the house positive. You know what I'm saying? But please, you guys, siblings, you're going to be different. But you need to love each other because that's the base core belief of your family. That is the metaphysical priority number one bloodline. That's priority number one is bloodline because you have to learn how to fuck with the do dirty people in your family. So when you get up in this world, you're not going crazy, taking pills, drinking, fucking sucking and doing all you do to lose your mind from from this slavery mentality that you're living. None of you are happy. And the best way to get happy, all I'm saying is that you have to focus on self enrichment, self enlightenment, self focus and self motivation. Motivation. You have to come out of the judging motherfuckers. You have to come out of judging yourself and putting abuse in your mind about, I didn't do well. Oh, I didn't get the A. I wanted the A, but I got to be. You got to get over that. You got to be happy about your triumph. Focus on yourself and do the best you can do for you. Because by doing the best you can do for you, you're doing the best you can do for your family. And keep in mind, you guys. Your family is or siblings are going to continuously try to reach their hi their highest potential or reach their grimiest state when they're teenagers. If you're going to do mess, all I'm saying, you guys, is do it when you're young. But grow out of that shit as soon as possible, because I'm telling you, if you still on that cycle of that bullshit when you're older, <clears throat> You'll come back to this lifetime doing the same shit with the same people on the same level. Anyway, this is Ishura telling you to love your sibling despite the differences. They're not going to be like you. They're going to think differently, feel differently, do differently. And this is due to the metaphysical factor, which is what month they're born in, what day they're born in. Are they born morning? Are they born evening? Um, were they born in, in the ram year or were they born in the rabbit year? All of that is important and feasible when it comes to figuring out why your sibling is the way they are but they're not going to be exactly the same you could be under the same house with six different kids with the same mommy and daddy and all six of them come out differently as to what they like what they don't like how they live what they do how they feel and what they make you never be on the same level so that comparing of oh i don't know why keisha is not like samantha keisha keisha graduated from college and samantha never graduated from college samantha's not keisha keisha not samantha they're two different kids two different people stop bringing our children together as if they have to be like this or be like that let your individual child grow into who the fuck they want to grow and do not say 
sorry for learning a lesson. Because if you fuck up, you guys, as a meta kid, and you make a mistake or do something wrong, don't beat yourself up about, oh, I did something wrong. Learn from that mistake and become a better person and then move on to the next thing. If you learn from every mistake that you fuck up and do, you're making your life better. And that, boys and girls, is about living, breathing, and being. My name is Ish, a.k.a. Marashiba. Hey! And I'll see you soon in the next episode, live from Mama Sheba's house.